The European Cricket Championship is proudly brought to you by Dream 11, HCL Software, Junta de Andalucía and Stake.com. And the big eliminator clash coming up first of all. It is the Spanish who had to battle their way through in torturous conditions last night against the Germans to qualify for this game. They are slightly behind in favouritism, but they know how to win tight games, the Spanish. And we're already underway with the first ball. It is Atif Mohammed, the left arm paceman, who's taking up the attack for the Spanish. Short of a length, hit up, DDC moves in from long on and he takes a catch. And that is the crystallisation of some exceptional pressure built up by the Spanish team. Raja Deal dug the ball in just a touch short of a length. And Doyle Kaye, he's not going to drop a catch that easy. Huge wicket and Ireland five for one. Deal goes outside off stump. Once again, not a bad ball, actually, but teched up. That bat has got some middle on it. That smashed consecutive Maximos off the bat of Tim Tekta. And his opening partner has not phased him whatsoever. He's gone that side again, but Tekta's good enough to make the adjustment. He's almost signalled in a way and a triple of Maximos to finish the over. This is drag leg side and that's going to be four. There's nobody back square of the wicket. Oh, he's bowled him. He's flicked the leg stump. And so Harbinson shows a bit too much of the furniture. I thought it was going to be a wide, but it just kissed the top corner, didn't it? And so Bubba gets a big wicket there because Harbinson, he's been striking the ball well this week. Then Spain have a second, it's 36 for two. All right, it's going to be Hamza to bowl the fourth. And he's lifted up and over. Maximo! Hector, unbothered, continues on his merry way. It's 42 for two after 3.1. Well, this is in the air. And it's been dropped by Alja, who kind of came in a touch too far, I think. Now an outswinger. Thick edge, and it's going to fly. Maximo. Oh, so just a game of small margins, isn't it, Macbeth? It's a thick outside edge. This one actually kind of yeah, bends late, doesn't it, from harms up. Oh, man, Robai, he's almost at a 45-degree angle down there. And the boundary return catch straight back to Hamza. And he has the wicket of Macbeth. And... Yet another partner of Tim Tector walking back to the boundary. Good return catch for Hamza Salim Dar, and he continues an excellent tournament. It's dragged, and he is caught. Well, sliding door moment as Tector gets the strike back. He steals it back, but has to walk back the next ball. Isan, that's his territory over there. And so Tector gets a life. But he gets going soon after, 52 for four. And the Tector would have felt confident. He picked out the shortest man in the Spanish team, but he's got a great set of hands. Oh, he edges it, and he's going to get four. And chases what would have been a wide. Hit hard, and it's not going to be stopped almost from Snehith Reddy down there. Now he'll get some back, and this is what he's there to do. Maximo! Hoi! In. And that's badly needed at the moment for the Irish. Spain haven't let them go too far. Might mind. Meanwhile, this is going to be lifted up and away by Wilson, who walks at Baba and puts, puts him halfway up Cooper's Hill. Maximo! Six more to the Irish. Wilson faces up. And then he smacks it up, up and out of here. Maximo. Well, could that be a turning point for the Irish? Ah, this isn't a good ball, though. It's full task asking to be hit. And Wilson doesn't need a second invitation. Puts it up into the jungle. Maximo. Six runs. He's got Howie on strike. And this is hit. And it's going to beat the fielder. Maximo. Howie, we know how to... 
Really rough start. He had one off his first six, but he has 15 off his next six. Oh, he's walked. Yeah, must have been a little inside edge on that one. And so Wilson is going to go for a pretty well-made 36. It's 107 for five. But I'll tell you something right here. It's the fifth wicket. They don't get a minute for that. And so I suppose he's still happy on the balance of bounce of uh, the issues to get rid of Wilson, who's a dangerous hitter. Indeed, that's a huge wicket. Lovely piece of bowling from Muhammad. All right, lift it up and over. Maximo. All right, this is lifted up and it's going to fly. Well, you better, better get a new ball ASAP here. He's got 20 seconds and uh, that one is not coming back, Rhino. Six runs to the Irish. Oh, misses with length and width, and it disappears. Now, again, it's going to be lifted up and away over the leg side. Dorkaya can't quite find the Yorker. Doherty with an important hand here in the last, with 23 now, off just five balls. Still on 17. And now he will be 23 off five balls. Well, Later on, that's the HL Software VIP area. Right now, that's where the ball lands. Tony likes it. This is going to be really exciting. Could this be the golden ball we've been waiting for? Last ball coming up. Walks it in, misses, always. I think he has an afterthought to throw. But, yeah. Oh, they're going to, oh, they're going to take this on. Should be a simple one. And so, yeah, they get it. <laughs> it's actually quite clever. Almost like the delayed steal for the baseball fans out there. So it'll be 139, 139 for five. They've got one of their main openers back. It is Baba who has come up to join DDC. Tector taking the opening ball for the Irish. Really dragged down outside of stump by Tector. Big swing from Baba. That wasn't a bad ball. Tector got the leg spinner to deviate sharply. That one is not the length to bowl to Baba and he punishes Tekta consecutive Maximos lovely shot again so he finishes the over with a triple of Maximos he reaches 18 for championship week finals day now this is going to be hoofed leg side inside half of the bat but DDC's away with four runs gets the comeback ball and it's hit High, and it's a chance, and it's Macbeth, and it's the end of Daniel Dorr. Kaya Riley gets the key breakthrough, and so it's the Spanish skipper that's the first to fall, 22 for one. Excellent bowling from Ollie Riley. Probably not dissimilar length from the previous ball, but just better directed. DDC tries to hit him straight. Unfortunately for the Spanish captain, pops him up, and good catch. Oh, lucky one. French cut for four. So you've seen really beaten all ends up. But we've seen a few of those edges flying for both sides. Oh, another edge that's going to go for four. This time off the outside edge. Well, if you average those two off, you get the middle of the bat. Probably won't want two dots in a row, though. And so he slashes. It's another edge for four. Well, that's three in the last three minutes. So I count it. Goes straight and gets the journey. Maximo! Baba this time again, not quite off the middle, but he'll take the runs. Baba already making a difference here on finals day. Now he's going to get another six. He's going to turn it off the hip. It's going to fly and it's going to go a long way. That's kind of with the wind as well. Oh, well, now it goes short and actually almost knocks it straight to the fielder. That's the one thing about Baba, you know, wonder how he'd handle a ball like that. He's not what I'd call a big. Yeah, that would have been a soft-looking dismissal if he just guided that straight to the fielder. He goes short again, but Baba has the answer this time. Cuts him up and away. Well, puts me back in my box as he cuts a six. 
All right, you see he goes after but skies it, and he should be gone. And he will be gone. So Frost with the breakthrough again. I think you've seen playing some, for some turn that's never there. Oh, tries to go leg side, tries to fetch it. Instead, it's your scene on his bike, and it's 56 for two. A yeah, good catch. Nice piece of bowling from Frost, too. Drum roll, please. Well, whatever bat it is, it's going to start with a six. Maximo! Let's pull the fourth. And it's going to get whacked. And look, that, he's got the driver out. I can tell you that much, Rhino, because that has gone miles. Maximo! It goes after this offside. He's going to get it. Maximo! Oh, this is going to be up, and it's going to be another six to Hamza Slim Da. Maximo! Again, doesn't quite find the block hole. Slow ball cut, and it will be stopped momentarily, but it gets across the line. So Baba gets 50, and he brings it up off 18 balls. And big Baba coming home to roost here on finals day with an important half century for Equipo Rojo. Oh, what a shot from Baba, who just drop kicks it over the trees. Maximo! Yeah! Oh, now he's chopped on. So is that a turning point? Baba, 60 and out. Weldon, maybe a slight change of pace. Baba trying to work it away. Got a thick inside edge down onto the stumps. And Spain, 109 for three. Now, full credit to the young man, Weldon. Not easy to come back when you get pumped like he was earlier in the over. A couple of dot balls, and then that one just a bit tighter towards off stump. And Babar, angle of the bat, just comes off the inside edge. Turns into a pretty good bowling change. Goes for it straight away, and gets it. Just outside the outstretched arm of Scott McBeth. Maximo! As Isan does just enough to get the ball out of the park. He loses his length here, and it has consequences. Climbs into this one. Hamza Salim Dar puts him up the hill. Maximo! Now hits this hard into the gap, and that's six more. Maximo! Well, Rhino, it's been some assault, hasn't it, from Hamza Salim Dar, and any thoughts he might be unsettled by that delay have certainly been put to bed. Absolutely brutal. Game, set, match. Equipo Rocco make the top three in Europe here and they send the Irish tumbling out of the competition. It's Isan that finishes it off, but you've got to say Hamza Salim Dar was instrumental along with Baba. Well, there he is there. And, well, they're saying, yeah, we're cutting the court. We're going at the trophy. And now Spain, just like the Netherlands and England in this competition, they're two wins away from being European champions.